Hello everyone, my name is Paul and I want to welcome you to my shop. Although it may have some clutter here and there, this clutter will not affect the quality of the laser cutting and engraving. But there is something that will, and that is dirty mirrors and a dirty lens. You may not realize how important it is to keep these mirrors and the lens clean, but each time that you use your machine, particles of dust, smoke, and other debris are produced and will eventually land on many parts of your machine, including the mirrors and the lens. Dirty mirrors and lens can lead to a weak laser beam, which will produce poor results. Most of us have seen a mirror ball. What happens when light reflects off of it? The light is scattered in many different directions. The same thing happens when the laser beam hits a dirty mirror or lens. It scatters, creating a poor beam. Before cleaning the machine, I recommend that you turn the laser key to off so that any potential accidental firing of the laser is prevented. It's also a good idea to make sure to have the air circulating and I will typically have the exhaust fan turned on so that any of the fumes will be removed from the machine. Let's start by cleaning mirror number one. It's the mirror in the back left corner and it's accessed through a side panel. First you're going to need to remove these screws and put them in a safe place. Once the panel is removed, you're going to have access to the mirror. This mirror is a little hard to see and may require using a small mirror or your phone to have a live view of it. Add just a small amount of rubbing alcohol to your cleaning pad or cotton ball and using small gentle circles wipe the mirror clean. You shouldn't notice any movement of the mirror, but if you do, then examine it further to make sure that it has not come loose. If it has, you will need to realign the mirrors. After cleaning the first mirror, visually inspect it to make sure that it is clean and no lint was left behind on it. This may be a little bit difficult, so it's important to make sure that you get in there and look at it. Using either your phone, you can take a picture, do a live view. There's a couple different options. Uh, it is hard to get to, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it is clean. Next, we're going to clean the second mirror. I prefer to clean this one from the front of the machine. Move the laser head all the way to the front of the machine to obtain the best access. This one's much easier to see. But again, using a small amount of rubbing alcohol, gently rub the mirror in a circular motion and then check to make sure that it is clean and that no lint was left behind on it. Again, there should be no movement within this mirror. If there is, you need to tighten the mirror back up and then recheck for alignment. The third mirror can be difficult to clean. For this one, I like to use a cotton swab with a small amount of rubbing alcohol on it. Insert it through the hole into where the mirror is and gently move the cotton swab around to clean the mirror. After you've done this, then visually inspect it to make sure that it is clean and that no lint was left behind. Now lower the bed a few inches and disconnect the air tube. In order to remove the air tube, push the blue ring in and gently pull the air tube out. And then you will turn the nozzle in a clockwise motion in order to remove it. Once the nozzle is removed, you'll need to remove the lens. There is a retaining ring at the end of the nozzle that will need to be removed. Next, remove the ring that's holding the lens in place. You will twist it in a counterclockwise motion until it is removed. Holding your hand over the end of the nozzle, turn it over and remove the lens. Carefully set it down on a soft cloth so that you can begin to clean it. Again, you're gonna use a small amount of rubbing alcohol on a soft cloth or cotton ball to clean the lens. Once you've done this, inspect it to make sure that it is clean and that no lint or other material is left behind. Place the lens back up into the nozzle, making sure that the curved side is pointed up. This can be a little bit difficult, but it is very important to make sure that the curved side is pointed up. Add in the plastic retaining ring and then carefully screw the metal retaining clip back into the nozzle. Be very careful not to cross thread 
or you will damage the nozzle. Before placing it back on the end of the focal tube, I like to make sure that everything is clean. I'll take the camera and look up into the focal tube to make sure that everything looks good. Once you're satisfied that everything is clean, go ahead and replace the nozzle back onto the focal tube. Now that everything is back together, it's time to check for mirror alignment. Place a piece of tape over the third mirror and pulse it to make sure that you are still centered. If it is not centered, then you will need to go back through the mirrors and realign them until it is centered. Now that you have a clean machine, it's time to get back to having fun. So until next time, stay safe and keep creating.